Did you know? Waxwings are small starling-sized birds with a prominent crest and colorful markings. They move around in large flocks, feeding heavily on one or more fruit trees. When the food supply is depleted, they move on to the next supply. Waxwings specialize in eating fruit and can survive on fruit alone for months. This is something very few birds in North America can do. A consequence of this type of diet, though, is intoxication. This happens when waxwings eat too many overripe berries that have begun to ferment. These drunk waxwings can face serious dangers as they aren't able to fly properly. Bringing intoxicated birds to a rehabilitation center can save their lives. A group of waxwings is called an earful or a museum of waxwings. The name waxwing comes from the waxy red secretions found on the tips of the secondaries of some birds. The wax tips are colored by astaxanthin, a carotenoid pigment. Both females and males wear wax tips. Its purpose was a mystery and was once thought that the red tips functioned to protect feathers from wear and tear, but there is little to no evidence for this hypothesis. However, a study from 1987 by James Mountjoy and Rayleigh Robertson of Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, revealed that secondary tips seem to be status signals that function in mate selection. This is what we know about the waxy tips. They seem to increase in number and size with a bird's age. Individuals with 0 to 5 waxy tips seem to be immature birds, while those with greater than 9 are thought to be older. Young birds pair up with other members of their pair group, while the older birds mate within their own age group. When the team observed mate at pairs, they noticed that the two birds belong to the same tip index category. This helps the birds to match and mate according to age. A mating system like that is known as a sort of mating. It was also discovered that mated pairs with greater than nine waxy tips nest earlier and raise more young than do immature birds. This really seems to solidify the idea that the greater the amount of tips, the older the bird, and the older the bird, the more experience. So these waxy tips seem to take the guesswork at choosing the right mate. Cedar waxwings are found throughout much of North America. The breeding range of these waxwings stretches from Alaska southwards across Canada to Newfoundland and the northern half of the USA, including northwestern Nevada and northern Georgia. In the winter, they are found across southern Canada through the USA and southwards as far as Panama. The greater number of this species is found on the southeastern coastal plains of the USA during the winter, but it is also known to visit Bermuda and the Caribbean region. In the northeastern U.S. and the southeastern Canada in the 1960s, cedar waxwings with orange instead of yellow tail tips began appearing. The orange color is the result of red pigment picked up from the berries of an introduced species of honeysuckle. If a waxwing eats enough of the berries while it is growing a tail feather, the tip of the feather will be orange. Many birds that eat a lot of fruit separate out the seeds and regurgitate them, but the cedar waxwing lets them pass right through. Scientists have used this trait to estimate how fast waxwings can digest fruits. Cedar waxwings are social birds that form large flocks. Often, they nest in loose clusters of a dozen or so nests. During courtship, males and females hop towards each other, alternating back and forth and sometimes touching their bills together. Males often pass a small item like a fruit, insect, or a flower petal to the female. After taking the fruit, the female usually hops away and then returns, giving back the item to the male. They repeat this a few times until typically the female eats the gift. Cedar waxwings have a strong, steady flight stall with fairly constant wing beats. Often, they are heard before they are seen, so learning their high-pitched call notes can be useful in identifying them. You can look for them low in berry bushes, high in evergreens, or along rivers and over ponds. Also, be sure to check big flocks of small birds. Waxwings are similar to starlings in size and shape and often form big unruly flocks that grow, shrink, divide, and rejoin like starling flocks. These birds are described as happy campers due to their lack of avian dominance. Entire flocks of 30 plus waxwings appear to get along wonderfully while feasting on the fruits of a tree such as a crabapple tree. The Bohemian waxwing is found in the northwestern regions of the continent. They are an irregular winter visitor from the far north. 
Usually they come to the states and provinces along the United States-Canada border and a bit further southward in the west. Their breeding grounds are in the subarctic regions of northern Europe, Siberia, Alaska, and western Canada. In autumn, they migrate south of their breeding range. As with the cedar waxwing, bohemian waxwings have a peaceable nature and spends most of its life in flocks too. When feeding, they will often settle at the top of a tree near to a source of food, kind of like a staging area. Then a small group of about 8 or 10 birds will fly down to the source of berries to feed. Shortly after, another 10 birds will fly down to eat and then another 10 and so on. This rotating in and out of the food source sequentially and orderly allows for everyone to get their turn to eat. With bathing, similar pattern of taking turns can be observed when water sources are limited. A social cooperation and sharing food, as waxwings do, isn't typical behavior of flock birds. Usually, there is a lot of chaos and tough competition for the food found within flocks. Berries are swallowed whole, and they eat up to three times their weight of fruit in a day. Individuals have been known to swallow 300 berries in two hours. To help digest large quantities of berries, the bohemian waxwing drinks copiously and will eat snow and catch snowflakes. They also catch flying insects, making them to be a flycatcher, as is the case with the other two waxwing species. Bohemian waxwings are a little larger than cedar waxwings, measuring about 16 to 19 centimeters and weighing 45 to 69 grams. Occasionally, bohemian waxwings are seen in enormous flocks in eastern Canada and the northern parts of the United States. This is most often when their local food supplies aren't plentiful. The name bohemian refers to the nomadic movements of winter flocks. They do not hold breeding territories, and this likely has to do with the fact that the fruits they eat are abundant but available only for short periods. One consequence of this non-territorial lifestyle is that it has no true song. It does not need one to defend a territory. The oldest recorded bohemian waxwing was at least 5 years, 10 months old when it was found in British Columbia in 1973. It had been banded in Saskatchewan in 1968. So that just about wraps it up for this video. What did you learn about them that you enjoyed the most? For me, I enjoyed learning about their peaceful nature. It's refreshing to see flock birds sharing and not competing so hard with one another. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, give it a like. Thanks for watching, and happy birding!